Aloha everyone, good morning. I am uh, Scubaya, uh, Scooby Hugs, Steven, and this is my uh, little jungle hut. Uh, there's a loft up there behind me that's uh, available for two people that want to bear with me and the bears. This morning, I want to tell a story about building community. We have people here on different diets and nutritional needs, and we have a, some campers on the other side of this village that are so pro-vegan, they, they, they kind of put out hate and violent with that. So today, I made some of this bear food. We remember the story about the three bears and the porridge? Well, one of my supporters, her name is Auntie Monica, brought me some bear food. It's porridge. It's actually vegan. It's this stuff right behind me. You'll see. Now the funny thing is these kids across the camp are so new to veganism, they don't know what vegan is. So I'm gonna bring this bear food, which I promise you is vegan, maybe not organic, but we're just gonna test to see how the vegans react. Here we go with our uh, bear food. This is porridge. It's a little salty. I put some pepper in it, but I made it with coconut oil. If you'll follow me, the, uh, the vegan camp is this way out in Middle Earth. We're getting closer now to the vegan camp known as Middle Earth, uh, run by the Sheila, the wild cat. And um, we're gonna see what they think about the bear food. It is a little salty. Hey, I made some bear food. Does anybody want bear food? This is bear porridge. Like, remember the story of the three bears? Um, do you want to try? It's salty. It's vegan though. Yeah. He also said it was organic. It is. Well, I think it doesn't and say organic on the box. It doesn't say it on the box, but Scooby says it's organic. Well, it. I did look it up. It's actual bear food. The ingredients just say wheat, but it's vegan. But that's not. That's not vegan though. Because you've never set that that boundary. I, I'm the one that put the water. I put also pepper. This is a non-GMO. It's my fertilizer area. Well, we don't know if there's GMOs in it. We know it's bear porridge. As much as I like the bears. It's got organic mm -hmm. coconut oil, salt, and pepper in it. You want to do it? No. Will anybody else bear bear the porridge? No. No. That Just stuff's like not allowed. I won't do it. I won't do it. What? The oh, porridge? The, we it's bear porridge? It's bear porridge. It's good. It looks lumpy. It's, well, because I didn't add enough water. This is my first time. It's salty. What is it? This is me eating the bear porridge. Is it organic? We don't know. It, said, it didn't say organic on the box. You can make believe anything into organic but by blessing it. And that's what we're here to do today. I like the bear. Okay. Um, so it's been, it's been decided. Did Sheila, tell, what is the sentence for bringing this? Not to do it again. You can't do it again. Yeah, try not to try to be conscious. Jesus says no bear food. Well, we want bear food, but we want organic bear food. Yeah, this that is no the organic labels. And aside from that, it's not really mm -hmm. sustainable. Yeah, what yeah, um, the intention here at Sunderland is to reduce your carbon footprint, brother. And I can reduce your car carbon footprint by 40% if you eat organic whole foods. 40% gets taken out of your carbon footprint. All right, we're gonna go dispose of the bear food Wait, then inside the composting toilet. No, no, you toilet. can eat it. It's no, I'm scared. Dude. Your body's gonna compost it for us. But I have an you're idea. gonna. Right. You're Let's gonna say the fear the queen's idea. idea. Yeah. You're, Here's you're, the queen's idea. Kidneys. What's the queen's idea? Let's make Teach porridge from. Here. Let's make no, porridge. Let me, babe, let me talk. You are my garbage oh, disposal. Baby, yeah. Let's make porridge from our red food. Yay. I got a giant yuca. I should go get it. We're gonna make uh, yuca porridge. Yuca porridge. Out of organic you heard it first. The uh, bear 
prayer of porridge was not welcomed or certified here. Not in just Middle Earth, but Cinderland Eco Village itself cannot bear, cannot bear the uh, GMOs, genetically modified organisms inside this bear food. So what we're going to do is we're going to dispose of this bear food in a very bearful way. We're going to compost. Once in a while, yeah, once in a while, we will go, go very far. Here we are at one of our composting toilets we have available at the Cinderland Eco Village. Where we are about to bear it right to a new level and bury our bear. Well, over all those mountain ranges, across our bodies of water, I keep drifting back into providing arms of daughters. So I'm walking away from our composting toilet. Where I have just composted the bear food that I made. You see, I don't know how to bear out here. I'm looking for somebody to bear with me to uh, bear it all to the simple bear necessities. Maybe you are that bear. I have a space for one or two people. I could put a mattress in for you and uh, you can help address my bears and get us on a bear, federal bear nutrition. Because obviously bear food doesn't work well here in the village, and um, I'm looking for better bear praises and glories. We'll sing these songs into the gray overcast mornings. Mm. Thank you all for joining me on this very bearable journey, learning about building community and what. What's important? Important is vegan on that side and organic materials for the entire community. And that was our lesson today. Thank you for joining us. Aloha, Hariom, Namaste, Haribo. This is Scubaya reporting to you live from our rainbow dorm here at the Cinderland Eco Village saying, and bearing fruit We're finding opposition And recycled opinions Floating stagnant And very horizontal And it's clear to me It's quite a vertical thing We all must find our own way home But to live life like this Takes much practice Breaking habits Born into and Oh my love, we were created carnivores And much like dinosaurs, we will die But live forever, yes forever In a soil And so it is, with all that I am, and all I am to be And all we'll for those to see I give thee we'll my the bare food to the soil Overcast mornings, mm -hmm. 